Good. Now press escape and select choose slot. Then select the aircraft you wish to fly. 137. Start at a Napa. 138. Start on the air. Ramp start selected. The A-40 is armed with two Colt Mark 12 cannons, one in each wing route. The Mark 12 was standard cannon armament on American naval fighters and attack aircraft from the early 50s to the early 70s, including the F-4D Skyray, F-3H Demon, F-8 Crusader, F-11 Tiger and early Navy versions of the A-7 Corsair. Its basic specifications are Weight 101 pounds Caliber 20 millimeters Rate of fire, 1,000 rounds per minute. Muzzle speed, 1,010 meters by second. Rounds capacity, 200, each gun. For air-to-air -air use, the A-40 can also carry two missiles, belonging to three variants of the Sidewinder heat-seeking missile. GAR-8. It's the USAF designation for the AIM-9B, an early Sidewinder for rear aspect use only. AIM-9P introduced on 1978, it's an all-aspect version of the Sidewinder, created for export. AIM 9P5. Similar to the 9P, but with better counter counter measures ability. This is the variant we will use on this training mission. Its basic specifications are. Weight. 190 pounds. Length. 10 feet. Speed. Mach 2.5 plus. Guidance. Infrared heat seeking. Range. 10 nautical miles maximum. Press spacebar to begin the mission. Turn the UHF radio mode knob to its DR plus G position. Good. Now, for this mission, select its preset mode. Our current airbase, ANAPA, uses an ADC UHF frequency of 250 MHz. On the kneeboard, on the radio presets page, you can find that preset 5 is currently set to the 250 MHz frequency. So, use the highlighted knob to select preset channel 5. Now that we have the radio properly tuned, Contact an app ATC by pressing the HOTAS PTT button or the right control plus backslash keys. Select F1. Request taxi to runway. Anapa, in field 2-1. Request taxi to runway. If there is other traffic on the taxiways, you may receive the message hold position. Just wait until the taxiway is cleared. The ATC will then grant you permission to taxi. Once ATC gives you clearance to taxi towards the runway, take note of the runway that has been assigned. On this case, ATC should assign runway 22. Press spacebar once you have clearance. Your aircraft is ready to start the flight. Increase throttle and let the aircraft slowly move forward. Once the aircraft is moving, press the wheel brakes to confirm their operation. Release the wheel brakes and resume the taxi. Be careful of other traffic that may be near you. Good. Now turn left and proceed along the taxiway, towards the runway.
This is Taxiway M. Reduce speed when nearing the turn, to avoid tipping over. Stop just short of the runway and contact an FADC to gather clearance to enter the runway. Press the HOTAS PTT button or the right control plus backslash keys. Select F1. Request takeoff. Now that we have ADC clearance, enter the runway, align on its center, and stop there. Refer to the takeoff checklist that is printed on the lower right of the instrument panel, beside the emergency generator handle. 1. Check trim. Elevator trim. 6 degrees nose up. Router. 0 degrees. 2. Seat harness. The shoulder harness should be in the locked position, forward. 3. Canopy. Confirm that the canopy is fully closed. 4. Flaps. Set to half extension. Press spacebar once they are extended. Six. Armament. Check that all switches are off. Seven. Spoilers. Switch to armed for shore-based operations. Eight. Nose wheel steering. Set to normal. Actually, on the current simulation of the Skyhawk, there is no working nose wheel steering button, so it is always engaged. This completes the takeoff checklist.
We will skip the engine fuel control test for brevity, as you already learned it on the carrier taxi and launch, training mission. We are now ready for takeoff, follow the usual procedure. 1. Hold wheel brakes, increase throttle to 90% RPM. Check instruments and alerts. If everything is well, release the brakes and accelerate to 100% RPM. Two, reaching 135 knots, pull back softly on the stick until the aircraft nose begins to lift, on the air. Three, once fully airborne, retract the landing gear. Four, raise the flaps once over 170 knots. Five, accelerate to climb speed. For this leg of the mission, fly at 250 knots. Six. Spoilers. Switch to off. You are over waypoint 1. Now, turn right towards waypoint 2. Heading 280 degrees. You can set the navigation computer to D1 if you need help finding the waypoint. Maintain 250 knots and 3000 feet altitude. During this training mission, you will employ the two air-to-air -air weapons available to the A4E. 1. Air-to-air Sidewinder missiles. 2. Built-in machine guns. Both are fired using the stick's trigger, so care must be taken to select which weapon will be fired. We will now review the correct procedure for each. The procedure for using the guns is as follows. 1. Set gun sight depression. The A4E gun sight is meant for air ground use only. So for air air use leave its depression at zero. Use the style to adjust the gun sight brightness, so that it does not hide the targets. Two, set the weapons function selector to its off position. You may also click on the base of the flight stick to hide it, in order to have better access to the weapons panel. Three, gun switch. Set it to ready if you want to fire the internal guns. Set to safe if you will fire a sidewinder, to prevent firing both missile and gun simultaneously. Four, finally, prior to using the guns, you should set the master arm switch to on. 5. Fire the guns by pressing the flight stick trigger. Fire a short test burst now, to make sure we have the setup correct. The procedure for firing the Sidewinder missiles is very similar to the one for the guns. 1. Set gun sight depression to zero and adjust the gun sight brightness. 
2. Set the weapons function selector to the bombs and guided munitions armed, knob position. 3. Gun switch. Set it to safe, to prevent firing both missile and gun simultaneously. 4. Turn on the corresponding station select switches. The A4E can only carry sidewinders on stations 2 and 4. The sound that you hear is the missile seeker tone. The current sound is the search tone. When it detects a strong heat source it will change to a higher pitched sound. Adjust the volume with the highlighted knob. To prevent firing both missiles simultaneously, set the release type to single. This will ensure that you fire just one missile when pressing the trigger. 6. Finally, prior to using the missiles, you should set the master arm switch to on. For now, set it to safe until you have sighted the enemy aircrafts. Leave the other setting ready for sidewinders, and after you have fired both missiles, switch to guns. On this mission, our AWACS is using the 251 MHz frequency. To communicate with it, select preset 2 on our UHF radio, using the highlighted knob. Now that we have the radio properly tuned, you should begin to hear the AWACS messages, reporting the location of the enemy drones. The reports have this format. AWACS identification. Overlawed 1-1. Player identification. Enfield 1-1 or Enfield 2-1. Target coordinates in dot format. Bearing towards the target, in degrees. Distance to the target, in nautical miles. Altitude of the target, in feet. If later on, you need an updated report, contact AWACS by pressing the HOTA's PTT button or the right control plus backslash keys, and select. F7, AWACS, Overlord. F4, request bogey dope. Select the nearest target, disconnect the autopilot and head towards the bandit, trying to match its altitude. The drones are quite small, if you can't find them, call up AWACS and request a bogey dope.
1-1. Request bogey dope. If using missiles, take care to not have the sun behind the target. If using guns, get much closer to the target before firing and fire short burst rather than one long burst. Remember that the A4E does not have ammunition counters. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. Bra, 
You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. Good shot. Drone 3C has been destroyed. 25 points awarded. You have no more missiles, let's switch to guns. 1. Set the weapons funk 2. Set the gun 3. Of course, the master arm switch should be on. Once you have expended press spacebar, if you want to finish you are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. Overlord, 1-1, one, one. in field, 2-1, request bogey dope. Field 2-1, Overlord 1-1, one, one. Bra 1-2-3-4-1, one, four, one. at 4,000, flanking. You are within one nautical mile of a drone. Maneuver to approach from behind the target. Overlord, 1-1, one, one. in field, 2-1, request bogey dope. 
Enfield 21, Overlord 11, Bra 22141 at 4000 knots. We will now head towards Waypoint 3, on our way back to Anapa. Using the knowledge gained on the navigation training mission, perform the following procedure. 1. Set the Doppler radar to land. 2. On the navigation computer, set the magnetic variance to 6 degrees east. 3. Set the and navigation two mode knob to waypoint D2. 4. Enter the following coordinates for waypoint 3. 45 degrees, 10 minutes north. 37 degrees, 21 minutes east. Six. Alter your heading so that the BDH at thick needle points to the top of the dial. Once on the proper heading, you may enable the autopilot and use time acceleration if you want.
Enfield 21, Overlord 11, Bra 297, 430, at 4000, hold. You have reached waypoint 3, now turn right towards waypoint 4. Course is 135 degrees, towards Anapa's outer beacon. Set the radio to preset 5 and contact Anapa's ATC to announce our intention to land there. You have reached waypoint 4. Reduce speed and altitude. Turn right 90 degrees, towards Anapa. Perform a visual landing, be careful with other air traffic that may be nearby.
Press spacebar if you want to finish this training mission now. Or press backspace if you prefer to continue and taxi the aircraft at the ramp. This is Taxiway C. Proceed forward to Apron 2. Park on spot number 23. Good shot. Drone 2B has been destroyed. 25 points awarded. 